Hi girls, we've got a brand new brand arrive called POM from Amsterdam and this is one of their sort of blouses, shirts, whatever you want to call it. Um, this one is called Bouncing Leaves and it's in this gorgeous coral colour but really gorgeous with blue jeans or black jeans or even white jeans later on. I'm wearing it today with the Seven for All Mankind straight crop and this is the new wash for spring summer which is called Soho Light. I know a lot of you had the Soho Dark in the autumn winter um, and these are exactly the same fit, really gorgeous. And also um, these are the Alpi Western boot, I'll just turn so that you can see the heel, um, which we had in, sold out of. Um, they've just come in again, but we don't have all sizes already because we did have people um, waiting for them. But a really comfy uh, boot with a heel. I wanted to show you the bouncing leaves blouse, but as an overshirt this time, rather than sort of tucked in and a little bit posher, because this is kind of how I would do it on the weekend. Um, I'm wearing it with the Soho Light, Seven for All Mankind straight crop, and the brand new Unisa trainer. Uh, this is the one that's got a tiny little snake detail on it, but I really love this look. This is another gorgeous blouse from POM and I've got to say the fabrics are absolutely beautiful, um, feel really gorgeous and I'm sure they'll wash really nicely. Um, this one is called the Delicious Mess blouse. Mm. Um, I don't know where they get their inspiration from but it's quite cool. Uh, but absolutely gorgeous again with jeans you know, of any colour but also with trousers if you wanted to you know, put it with something a little bit smarter. And this is the Delicious Mess blouse, uh, which I've also worn as an overshirt. And I've just popped the Unisa sliders with it. And that for me is like a really cool weekend look. Just a little bit of info for you about POM. It was started 10 years ago in Amsterdam by two sisters. And all of the prints are designed by hand by one of the sisters. They're all hand painted and then made up. And their big thing is about vibrant colours that contrast with each other. This is the Jungle Beats um, print in this dress. And I love the, the midi length and also the little flute sleeve. Quite nice, just covers my elbows. And beautiful colours. Thank you. This is the same shape of dress uh, but this one's called Strawberry Blue. It's got, again, really cute little colourful belt. And although I'm teaming it with my boots at the moment, um, obviously later on, when the weather gets a little bit brighter, I would definitely be wearing it to work with my pumps. I'm totally besotted by this sort of gypsy style maxi dress. It's right up my alley. Um, and I've teamed it with the Alpi biker boot because this is the way that I would wear it for work and you know sort of fairly casually but equally I'd do it with my boots um, in the summer I'd do it with wedges and a big trend for this season is um, the slider and we've got some gorgeous ones on their way from Unisa um, in black leather with a gorgeous um, gold emblem on the front and then in tan leather with, with the same. So there's lots of different footwear options, including your trainer to casual it down. Um, one thing about it, you, it comes with its own little belt, but you can just wear it loose if you prefer. It's also got elasticated um, wrists here, which is quite handy because I quite like to sort of hitch it up on my arm and then just let that fold over. This is the Delicious Mess maxi dress, again with the tear in it, um, and again with the elasticated cuffs. And again, I've teamed it with the biker, but you could literally put whatever you wanted with it. So you could take this actually to an event because we're hoping that sometime this year, um, events are gonna be back on again. So you could always do it with a beautiful heel, um, you know, add some, you know, a hat or a fascinator or something like that to take it somewhere really special. This is the new jumpsuit from DL 1961, which is one of our premium denim suppliers. It's called Fredja and it's a really cool piece. 
What I love about it is that you could really dress this up, you could put it on with some high heels and take it out out, but I like it quite casually, so I would wear this with my trainers, uh, with my biker boots, with the heeled boot, uh, very, very versatile. You can undo some of the poppers, put a little cami under there to make it even more casual. I've popped the sleeves up on my arms and I love the little puff sleeved detail. Um, as far as sizing is concerned, um, I can sometimes be a size eight, but I've chosen the size 10 in this one because I like it being just a little bit oversized. I just wanted to show you um, the jumpsuit, sort of casual down a little bit. So I've put um, trainers on with it this time. Uh, the trainers are brand new in from Unisa, really gorgeous. Uh, the name of this one is Farola, and I love the sort of khaki and beige stripe down the side. I'm just gonna grab one and bring it to camera so that you can um, see that. The great thing about the Unisa trainer is actually the sole. You probably can't tell from this, but it's actually really thick, comes to about there. Super cushioned, so it's really good for your posture as well um, and makes it very, very comfortable because I have got flat trainers that are flat to the floor, but they're nowhere near as comfy. I love it too with actually the biker boots. I think it's a really lovely, casual, easy to wear look. In fact, all I need is a hard hat and I can nip next door to the building site. <laughs> we had almost sold out of the biker boot, but we have now topped up on them. And they're also gonna be coming in a lovely khaki green suede. So um, check out the website. Um, and then that's the back of them. This is actually a high-vis stripe here with a zip. So you don't have to be undoing um, the laces or anything like that. I think they're really you cool. wouldn't wear them with that with the ties round that's the how I tie them up right yeah because I want these two eyelets exposed at the top so I take wrap the laces from the front round the back bring them forward and do a bow because if you don't do that you've got a really big bow which I feel is quite ugly the other footwear that really suits um, this jumpsuit is a slider and sliders are going to be massive this season. Um, the ones that I'm wearing are from Unisa and I think they look really luxury. Um, so they've got the um, rattan sole, um, black leather across the front and that gorgeous sort of gold emblem which is really cool but they're also going to be arriving in a tan leather as well. Um, I'm just going to bring them to camera so that you can see them properly. We've had a couple of new jean styles come in from our uh, denim, premium denim supplier, DL1961. And DL1961 are leading the way in terms of sustainability. In fact, they've got it down from using 1500 gallons per pair of jeans to eight gallons, which is amazing. And we really support companies who, use it, who are using this new technology because it's good for all of us. Uh, now the pair that I'm wearing are called the Bridget Boot Cut. Um, what I love about them is that they're slightly cropped. Um, so we want to see our footwear basically. So whether it's our trainer or whether it's our shoot in, in the case that I'm wearing now, whether it's your boots, you know, we want to, it's all about seeing ankle and, and your footwear. Um, I'll turn slightly sideways um, so that you can see how that is just slightly boot cut at the bottom and I do love the fringing and the summer wash. Are they the Alpi shoots? They are the Alpi shoots, Duncan. The DR1961 um, Bridget boot jean actually looks so good, really pared down, just with a little uh, logo t-shirt and biker boots or trainers or whatever and just away you go. The shacket is also a really good piece, which is not going anywhere. We're buying it for actually autumn, winter again. Um, and I love this look, you know, very, very casual, um, just sort of fits into your lifestyle and the, the jeans are just making it look super trendy. 
These jeans are also from DM 1961 and the fabrication is beautiful, soft. Um, it's stretchy, but it still is flattering um, with all the shaping and um, all of the shading that they put down the sides just to make the, the leg look slimmer. Now the patty straight, um, obviously I've just cuffed it because I'm a little bit shorter, but if you're longer in the leg, you wouldn't necessarily need to cuff it. It's also high in the rise, again, which I like. Um, and they're super casual again. So you can just have them on with your trainers. Um, I've just popped the uh, POM, I think this is the delicious mess blouse, and just a little white cami. But again, you can make them whatever you want. So you can dress them up and put, put them with heels if you want to. Um, I'm just gonna show you the trainer that I'm wearing. Uh, these are from Unisa. And we did something like it uh, last summer, but it was in a cream colourway. And this season we've had white. Um, and there is a detailing on it, which is a very um, small detail, which is just the um, snake print on the trim there. got the patty straight jeans on again from DL 1961 uh, but this time I popped them with a really sort of summery footwear. Um, these are the sliders from Unisa and I just love that look, very kind of weekend, very casual. 